Ugandan president to consult lawmakers on strict anti-LGBTQ bill. Ugandan President Yoweli Museveni was Thursday scheduled to meet lawmakers from his party to discuss a strict anti-LGBTQ bill ahead of a deadline to sign it, veto it or send it back to parliament for revisions. Human rights activists and the U.S. government say the bill is among the harshest pieces of registration penalizing sexual minorities anywhere in the world. The UN, EU and a long list of corporate giants have condemned it. It would impose the death penalty for so-called aggravated homosexuality which includes having gay sex when HIV positive and 20 years sentences for promoting homosexuality. Its passage last month with near unanimous support in parliament has already triggered a wave of arrests, evictions and mob attacks against LGBTQ Ugandans, members of the community say. Bailo Museveni has 30 days from when Ugandan parliament sent him the bill to weigh in. The bill was passed on March 21st, but it is not clear when it was transmitted to Museveni. His meeting with lawmakers from his National Resistance Movement Party was scheduled to begin at 2 p.m. in the GMT at the Presidential Palace. Museveni, a strong opponent of LGBTQ rights, who last month called gay people deviations from normal, has not indicated what he plans to do. He signed a law in 2014 that stiffened penalties for same-sex relations, but has also suggested uh, that at times that homosexuality should be addressed through treatment rather than registration. He faces a possible juggling act trying to keep lawmakers happy over registration that has brought popular support while not antagonizing foreign donors who provide billions of dollars in aid each year. Western governments suspended aid, imposed visa restrictions and curtailed security cooperation in response to the law Museveni signed in 2014 that stiffened the penalties for same-sex relations. That law was nullified within months by a domestic, uh, by a domestic court on, proce on procedural grounds. Same-sex relations are already illegal in Uganda as they are in more than 30 African countries but proponents of the new bill said stronger registration was needed to combat the threat homosexuality presence to traditional family values. Lawmakers in neighboring Kenya and Tanzania have recently called for similar measures in their countries. A coalition of international companies, including Google, criticized the registration last month warning it would put those with operations in Uganda in an impossible position and hurt the country's economy. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.